Oh, hi there. Uh, what do you actually do here? Oh, I'm a UX researcher. Oh, what's a UX researcher? I look at enhancements, pain points, and how we can improve products and services for users. And that includes software, websites, and apps. So, yeah, that's what I do, and I love my job. Oh, wow, that sounds really interesting. I'd love to do that, but I don't have a degree or qualifications or any experience. Oh, no, you don't need a degree or a major. Okay. You just need experience, uh, good quality experience, and it doesn't have to be lengthy because there's a huge demand for UX researchers. So don't worry, you can get in, I'll help you. Wow, great. So what employees are looking for is someone who can understand the pain points and the point of view of users and all the friction there might be in a service. So understanding what's annoying the users, what's making them leave the site or the app or the software and improving that user experience. So they want someone who can really capture those needs during a process of user research and then deliver on reporting it. So sharing it with different stakeholders with us, that's a UX designer or a developer or a senior stakeholder, i.e. your manager. So they want someone who can explain those pain points, usually using something like a PowerPoint presentation. So what do I need to do to get my first job? So let me give you five things that you can do to get your UX research job. First, watch tons and tons of videos like from my channel and others, read blogs, read everything you can about UX research, understand and memorize the UX research process. That's the most important thing. You must know how the process works. Get a course if you really want to learn professionally and not miss out anything. So courses are really helpful for that. Also, what you need to do is practice in the real world. So get some work experience, whether that's paid or unpaid work experience, that will really help you to get not only the experience, but the insights that you need for your interview. And finally, create a UX research portfolio. Although it's not needed in every job, it's always helpful to have one. Okay, I'm gonna look into it. I'll take your advice. I'm gonna watch the videos and start to study it. And I hope that um, one day I can sit in your chair and be a UX researcher. Do you think I can get the UX research job? Watch the next video to find out.